And then before we know it, it kind of it seems like forever, and then all of a sudden it's happening. Oh! And the 158th boat race is underway. The day before the race, we'd watched Rumble in the Jungle with um, Muhammad Ali versus George Foreman. We knew that we were going to be a lighter crew going up against a much heavier crew. Sean said, you know, when you go into these fights, you've got to try and knock them out in the first round, but then if you don't knock them out, you've got to settle in for the long haul. And it was just about 10 minutes in, and you know, everyone's starting to hurt, but you're thinking to yourself, OK, you know, they, they've had their advantage, nothing's happened, we, we can do this. And then... <laughs> Seven minutes to go in this race. What's happened? Cambridge has stopped. Cambridge just stopped. Wayne Palmer, what can you tell We've us? stopped rowing. There's a man swimming across between the boats. Earlier in the week, we sort of ran over a fridge <laughs> while we were out training. I guess we're sort of lucky, or at least the swimmer's quite lucky, that there had been some flotsam in the river beforehand and we were prepared for obstructions. You know, no umpire wants to be in that situation. They, I think they all just, you know, hope that it'll be one of those races where one crew just moves ahead and then they don't have to do anything. They just sit there and follow the race. It must have been the hardest job of any umpire that's ever umpired the race, and I think he, he acted very commendably. And then we whipped him out onto the uh, umpire's boat, and uh, he was fine, but we didn't, we didn't engage in polite conversation at that point. And, uh, and then we were concentrating on trying to make sure the crews were informed about where to restart the race. But the important thing here is the lactate that has built up in the muscles of these two crews. They are very, very tired. About 15 launches come to a screeching halt in the middle of the river. There's white water everywhere. We're bobbing radio. It felt quite frantic and a little bit crazy, but we got off ahead of them and it felt quite aggressive. It felt quite powerful. And it felt good. The clash was much, much harder than usual. Normally you get a bit of clipping, you can have the boat respond quite badly, but it felt like, it just felt like being hit by a truck or something. And then the blade snapped, and I've never seen anything like it before. I've never seen a blade, a blade snap like that. I put my hand up, hoping that they might stop the race again. And then I remember looking round at John, and he was just shaking his head, and I thought, that's it, we're done for. I remember thinking, you know, it's just, this is clearly going to be tough. I'm really wanting to still try and win in spite of everything. I've been told that we, we didn't lose by, you know, perhaps as much as you would expect over six minutes of rowing, but, you know, we lost. <laughs> and the next thing you remember? Uh, waking up in an ambulance. <laughs> Now they're worried about the moment. Alex Woods, yeah. Alex Woods Dr. Happy. Alex Woods, is uh, still collapsed in the back of the boat. To us down our end, we just had no idea. I mean, we didn't know if he was breathing, we didn't know if he was conscious. And then we just had to sort of limp, limp back to land with, at that point, six, six oars, essentially. I just remember thinking, this wasn't how this was meant to happen. We all carried him um, on a stretcher to, to an ambulance and, and they took him away. And, uh, you know, I think that point was pretty, um, it's pretty low for quite a lot of guys in the team and, you know, he was still holding on to his blue boat shirt which had been cut in half when they were getting him out of it and I said, I'll have to get him another one of those. I, mean, I don't know why, <laughs> it's just a torn shirt now, but it's, that's still my, my race shirt I suppose, so it kind of means a lot to have it. We kind of all thought, okay, now we have to do something, we have to go and stand in front of a camera somewhere and, and shake people's hands and, and that never happened and I think we were all very grateful that that didn't happen at that point. And Cambridge chose not to take their moment and for me the boat race is going to be remembered for a whole bunch of reasons and a lot of them not very good but I hope in some way that kind of response is, is remembered. The sort of sensory experience that I remember the most is, is Katie hugging me afterwards and that went on for a long time and I just didn't want to let go. Because the first thing I said was, did you win? And she nodded and that was when I started crying because I was just so proud of her. Um, and then it started coming out that, you know, it looked like they'd broken a course record. And I guess that was the saving grace of, of that ride home is there was at least a, a positive to focus on from, from the team. We went to see Alex and we went and saw him at the hospital. Uh, unfortunately, he, he tried to, you know, discharge himself and come to the party afterwards, but uh, the doctors sort of said that was probably a bad idea. It sounds a bit barbaric, but pain actually is a really good way of stimulating people to kind of wake up a bit. Um, and so apparently I got hit in the face a couple of times by the um, paramedic. Apparently I was doing a pretty bad job of staying awake. <laughs> his, his recovery has been sort of gradual, but uh, I think in a couple of days he'll be doing his medical exam, so... <laughs> 
it is just sport and uh, you know obviously it doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things but I suppose you know what I've sort of realized in the past few days is that you know you can say to yourself well it was you know it was out of our control and it was you know it's only sport it was only a race and you know you try and sort of say it doesn't really matter but you know if you if you want to come back and you've you've got to sort of you know accept that it, it does actually mean something to you and it does hurt to lose and um, you know you've, you've got to let it hurt if you want to if you want to win again.